The Captain Captain Paw Blicks. 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 Movie City for the Blicks. Movie City for the Blicks. Movie City for the Blicks. The Captain Talks Flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talk Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez. And this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, the podcast for me, the captain. Talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you see on the two-point screen. I like to get on here and give my unique perspective. Because after 45 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks. I like to get on here and share it with you. Tell you about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, it looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to the Bahamas. We got some listens over in the Bahamas this past week. The Bahamas. I heard you got an island for sale over there. I heard that uh, Tim McGraw and Faith Hill are selling their island in the Bahamas, their Bahamas island, for $35 million. You know what? I'm going to check my bank because I think I'm going to have an extra 35 mil laying around. And I think I might just go buy that island. You saw this podcast money. Give me that uh, that island from from that couple. And go over there. Because I heard it's great over in the Bahamas. And why not own my own island? Why not? I was only 35 mil. It's not that much. You know, that's, the, that's, that's like, that's like uh, weekend money for me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, thanks for listening. So anyways, thanks for listening. Appreciate it. God sees gratitude. And just an FYI, back in the day with school to be a radio DJ, but I never got a job. I think I just didn't have the focus. I didn't have the discipline. I wasn't focused enough. So I never became that DJ, but that allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the multiverse. Something to debate. May be true, may not be true, but I said it on the internet. So it has to be absolutely true, right? Right? Because everything on the internet is true. Remember, the astronauts didn't land on the moon. They're on the soundstage. The internet said it. So it's got to be true, right? So my po- so I must be the greatest podcast in multiverse, right? Facts. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Let's get right into the podcast. Because I can ramble here quite a bit. But first, a word from our sponsor. I saw on the news. Stimulus only got a few hurdles left. Few hurdles and stimulus is coming. People are gonna get stimulated. Stimulate, 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 right? So if you get stimulated and you want to help stimulate the economy and you get all your your business and bills taken care of, you have to make sure disposable income. If you want to update your wardrobe, get some new pictures, puzzles, posters, knick-knack, patty quack, give the dog a bone, you know, whatever. Go over to the existing fictions house store. I'll put the link below, and you can help. Stimulate the economy. You can help stimulate me. Please come stimulate me. Sounds kind of dirty, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so as I put the link below, it's the fixes out store. Check it out. Now let's get on with the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. This morning, I went searching for Chodipan. Chodipan. No, I want a Chodipan. I want some Chodipan. Now, I went last week, I went this week. I went to spots that I thought may possibly have it, but I was pretty sure they wouldn't because it's not really their, their thing. But I thought maybe they would serve, maybe, maybe they would serve it, but they don't. They, the place I went, do not. So I couldn't find Chote Pan the last few weekends, but I was I was in was the Spanish spot, and I'm like, okay, no Chote Pan, so what? Who cares? Doesn't matter. Let's get something else. So I'm in the Spanish spot, and I'm like, bro, you know what sounds good right about now? Some menudo, bro. Some menudo sounds good. Some salsa sounds good. I'm like, yeah, let's get that. So the captain got himself some menudo, some salsa, some tortillas. You eat that lemon, I think a lemon and onion, right? For the menudo, if you know what I'm talking about. And I ate the menudo this morning. I had had it for so long. It was so good. I've had menudo a million times in my life. But I don't know, because I haven't had it for so long. And because my diet is different these days, I eat a lot differently these days. More whole foods, more healthy. When I ate that menudo this morning, it just tasted, it was the best menudo I ate in my whole life. 
it just was so good. I can't explain it. It was fantastic. It's just, it was, oh my. If you haven't had Menudo, you don't know what it is, go to your local Spanish spot, wherever you're at in the globe. Chances are they probably serve it. A lot of Spanish spots across the United States serve that. I don't know where you're at in the world, but chances are if you go to your local Spanish spot, at least one of them, they're probably serving it. So you need to try this dish out because it is good. It hurts good for hangovers too. You got drunk the night before, eat that, you'll be all right. Make you feel good. So I had my noodle this morning, right? Oh, so good. To get the Troy pan, Charlie pan, but the noodle didn't matter. Noodle made up for it. And additionally, right, gave me a little salsa, right? A little salsa, a little bit of, a little bit of salsa. Now I was gonna put it in my noodles, like now nah, I'm gonna have some chips with the salsa, right? And the lady, the, the lady, the waitress over there, she's like, bro, that salsa's hot, bro. You better be careful, just because you know, try a little bit of ours. It's very hot. I'm like, okay, this is how I like hot stuff. It's all good. She's like, no, seriously, just you know, just, just be careful there. So I got back, got the, got the sauce ready, got my chips out, got these all these, these great chips out of Detroit, right? Authentically made, really good, man. Because I buy these chips all the time. I had these chips, and then the salsa, and the salsa, bro. The salsa was extremely hot. That salsa, bro, was hot. I was feeling that my nose was running, my tongue and mouth was burning. It was hot, right? But you know what? I love every minute of it. I love the burn. I love the heat. I love the sensation. It made me feel alive, baby. It made me feel alive, right? Some people feel that heat. They be like, bro, it's too much. They may start whining or whining about it, right? I embrace that heat. I embrace that hotness. I don't even know what kind of peppers is going into it. But I embrace that. I embrace that heat. It made me feel like I'm living, baby. Oh my gosh, that sauce was great. I'm going to get more of that stuff. Oh, it was so hot. So beautiful. Man, it was great. So anyways, this morning I had a little bit of noodle for breakfast. Sauce and chips. Lovely morning. And now we podcasting, bro. You know I get out here and talk about the dishes I eat sometimes. Because I just like to share cuisine sometimes. Because cuisine's a, you know, cool. I thought you might be interested. And some of you people on the other side of the globe might not be familiar with it. So I'm trying to like let you know, bro, you want a new dish to try? Just Google Menudo. Go to your local spot, Spanish spot. Get you some try. Promise you like it. The captain endorses it. If someone want to give me a, 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 an endorsement deal from Menudo, come talk to me because I will endorse your Menudo all day. Let's just let's work something out. <laughs> so anyways, I have Menudo this morning. It's great. Right, right, whatever. So let me stop talking about the food. Let's get right into the podcast. Before I do that, before I get what I want to talk about this morning, I want to talk about one other thing. I want to give a big farewell, shout out, respect, gratitude to a buddy of mine, this lady I know uh, who's uh, kind of helped this podcast. No, no, kind of has helped. Like I told you in the past, I talk to people and I bounce ideas off people a lot. So I have conversations with people online, in real life. And I am and I'm have conversations. And these conversations, I bounce ideas off and helps this podcast be, get created, right? There's a lot of people out there that I do that with, right? Some know that I'm, that I'm doing, but some know that Podcasts are getting created because of it. Some don't. But it doesn't matter. Anyways, they're all helping. So this lady I talk to on a regular basis for a long period of time. She's uh, moving on to to retirement. She's. I think she might be. You know, I think she might be getting that that thirty five million dollar island in Bahamas. We're talking about and like she might she might have got her thirty five mil first, <laughs> and she might be getting that island. <laughs> she might be getting that Bahamas island for thirty five mil. I better stop right now and go get that island. But anyway, she's moving on to other things. I just want to give a sh- big shout out and gratitude because uh, a lot of ideas got bounced off this lady and she's moving on to other stuff. And I'm not going to be able to do that as much or as... I'm not going to be able to do that as much anymore, unfortunately. So I do appreciate the contributions to the art, the conversations we had, gratitude, safe travels. I'll see you in that Bahamas island. Maybe you buy it. I'll just go visit. Or I can buy it. You can go visit. We'll see you in the Bahamas later on. All right. So shout out to you. Respect, enjoy retirement, watch a lot of Star Trek, appreciate that, make sure you do that, and we'll see you later on. Alright, so now that I talked to you about the food, and now I'll give the shout out to the retired retired uh, space captain, they're out of here. Now I'm going to talk about the, the, the meat of the podcast, what I really want to talk about, I'm going to talk about the tube now. So in the last month, I've been on YouTube, you know me, I'm on YouTube all the time, I'm always on YouTube. In the last month I was on YouTube, 
and I, this dude, like this dude, popped up in the YouTube recommendations. So I watched one video of this dude. This dude is giving lectures from like the 60s, late 50s, back in the day. You know what I mean? About different topics. I was like, okay, I'll listen. I'll check this dude out. I'll, I'll check him out. Once I, I never heard him, but I'll check him out. So I listened to this dude lecture named Manly P. Hall, right? It's a Canadian, like, author, lecturer, mystic, astrologer, all this, all this stuff, right? And I listened to his lectures. I've been listening to him all month. And this dude is talking different ideas and subjects back in, like, the 50s and 60s. And what's so interesting about this dude, Manly P. Hall, is he's sitting there and he's spitting this stuff in the 60s, late 50s. All this information, all these ideas. And what's so crazy to me is like, the majority of stuff he's saying like applies to right now. I'm sitting here in 2021, in the United States of America, listening to this dude from back in the day, you know, give these lectures. And how relevant this knowledge he's spitting is to me. Like I'm here and it's like, yeah, spot on. I get that. I agree that that's so relevant to now. It's so crazy. How this dude is doing that. And it's not just, there's a lot of other people. I'd be a lot of books from back in the day. Uh, watch videos from other people from back in the day. It's just crazy how these guys are so knowledgeable, intelligent, can see so far out or know humanity so well, or just able to, to talk about these ideas that are just very uh, universal and long lasting, right? It's not some, some, some things that are outdated. These, these, I mean, like all the videos very relevant to today so I just want to share it with you guys because like if you're looking for something new to watch if you want to level up your brain I'm always talking about on this podcast like you use YouTube to level up your brain you know listen to smart people be the dumbest person in the room all that kind of thing but this dude Manly P. Hall knows way more about life than I do way more right so I'm just sitting here listening to these lectures soaking it up listening to this, this knowledge soaking it up I'm gonna apply it to my lifestyle if I can in places I can So if you're like me and you're on that quest to level yourself up and you already got it, you got a lot of resources, you're looking at Goggins, you're looking at Jocko, you're looking at uh, uh, Eric Thomas, you listen to Joe Rogan, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all these guys, right? And you're not hip to Manly P-Hall, I I, I, I recommend you add them to your rotation of listening to videos, check them out, because you just add to that knowledge base you already got. This dude is just so knowledgeable. I can't believe it took so long for me to get hip to this dude. I just been watching him like crazy all week, all all month. So yeah, check Manly P. Hall. Level up your brain, man. Just, just get up on the tube. And a lot, and a lot of the videos are about two hours, so you don't got to watch them all in one sitting. But sit back, hear these man's, these man's wise words. I'll be really surprised if you listen to this dude and not learn something or think, wow, that's very, that's very, uh, very perceptive. It's just very smart, dude. At least to me. Maybe you hear him like, oh, this guy's an idiot. I, w- I wouldn't think you would, but you should you give this dude a listen. Check him out. Look for something new to listen to. And level up your brain. Maybe you're at the gym. Maybe you're at your job. Maybe you're driving the car on a long journey. Whatever. Put in some Manly P. Hall. Check him out. Soak up that knowledge. I was talking about becoming a polymath. Level on up. Yeah, so check him out over at the YouTube. Manly P. Hall. Smart dude. Level up your brain. So that's all I want to talk about this week. Pretty short, man. I mean, that, that on the tube, really, Manly P. Hall videos is all I've been watching. With the exception, I've been watching, like, Black Lightning and um, Bad Woman and uh, what's the other thing? Uh, what else? Someone else came. It's, it's all Superman. Low. Let's talk about that this week. Other than that, CW shows and YouTube videos, right? It's kind of my thing. Everybody knows over these years that I pretty much just watch CW shows during the week. That's it. It's all CW all week. <laughs> it's the only channel I watch. So anyways, thanks for joining me. Gratitude, gratitude. I appreciate the plays. I appreciate the listens. Podcast is steady growing, little by little. It's the little engine that could. And I appreciate every play, every listen from every region of the world. Thank you. Gracias, gracias, gratitude, gratitude. And until next time, we'll see. Every man is his own ancestor and every man is his own heir. He devises his own future and inherits his own past. Frederick. Henry Hedge. Until next time, it's the Captain Peace. The Captain Captain Talks Talks Flicks. Flicks.